you would know if you're a fan of mine that what you got to do if you want to know my drug of choice or my drugs of choice just listen to my music channel because it's all right there <laughs> can i just say something i don't know hey em i don't know if it's just me but i wouldn't i wouldn't be embarrassed about any fucking drug i did that's why i talk about the motherfucking drugs i do in my motherfucking music always have always fucking will Female rappers have struggled for years just to get the recognition they deserve. We have amazing females like Queen Latifah, Salt and Peppa, Lisa, Left Eye Lopez, Eve, Remy Ma, Lil Kim, Lauren Hill, and many others who have been part of the golden ages of music. Being a female in a male dominated industry is not easy. It has been revealed that female rappers go through hard and sometimes disrespectful things just to get a collab with a male. It's a feature on my album um, that it was like it was difficult to clear and they like trying to drop their nuts on me <gasps> because I won't respond to a, a DM. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Is it a, mm -mm. And, and without saying the name, huh. but is it artist or producer or somebody? Artist. Look, my female artist is just how it is, right? Because I know niggas and shit like that. I got a bust. Like, they ain't gonna be my girlfriend, but it's like, I'm gonna I'm 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 bust them. Sometimes the same people inside the industry create the drama of women being against each other. We are so used to comparing one female with another in the music industry that the moment a new one comes out, the fans and the media look for someone in the music to compare it to and therefore create this hostility. So, if this is what women in the industry go through, then why not support and lift each other? And this is something that Nicki Minaj doesn't understand very well. Let me make one thing clear. There is no doubt that Nicki Minaj's career is amazing. She is one of the most iconic rappers in the industry. She has managed to become successful in so many ways. Her talent is incredible and her journey has been quite amazing. Nicki took the world by storm after she was signed by Young Money. And the rest is history. But despite all her success and talent, Nicki has been accused multiple times of having a bad attitude. It is hard to believe that the one who inspired a lot of the new rappers is having a hard time acknowledging others. It seems like despite how established Nikki is in the industry, she can't stand that new females are entering the scene. She can't stand the fact that there are more females around, doing collabs, making numbers, and being complimented by others. We gotta show love while we're here, so tonight, I wanna say that Vanessa Hudgens, you look incredible tonight. I want to say, I want to say. <laughs> and that right there is affecting her legacy. When Nicki Minaj came out, it is unclear if for a time there was some of friendship with Lil' Kim, but if there was, it was short. The beef between them was clear. The same way she opened doors for me, I'm now opening doors for her. Because, do you understand what I'm saying? Because nobody was even playing your music and you damn sure couldn't get an interview to save your life. But now you get interviews and every time you do an interview, they asking you about Nicki Minaj. So it's like we can we, we help each other. You know, that's the point. We're helping each other. But if you are bitter, get a life. Don't get it. Don't 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 play with me. You know, it's one of those moments when you say, don't play with me. You know, because I respect you. I love you. I've said it in every interview time and time again. And if that's not good enough with you, mama, then it's something deep-rooted in you. You need to get your, something is bothering you inside. That's your insecurity bothering you. It's not Nicki Minaj. It would have been any girl that started popping. You know, she, she picked a fight with Foxy, then she picked a fight with Eve, then she picked a fight with Remy. Now it's, you know, then it was Miss Wallace, then it was Nicki Minaj. Every time you in the news, it's because you're getting at somebody. Where's your music? You know, put your music out, and when I see your name on Billboard, that's when I'll respond to you. Other than that, goodbye. <laughs> Nikki was copying Lil' Kim. So if Lil' Kim was mad at Nikki for stealing her image, 
disrespecting her on multiple occasions, and not acknowledging her, she had the right. For a long time, no other female rapper was going against Nicki, but this didn't mean that she was not involved in some drama with other people. This is one of the main reasons why her mean and rude image grew. She got involved in some drama with Mariah Carey. There was some Twitter drama with Taylor Swift. The beef with Miley Cyrus. I'll meet her up a day in the press. Miley, what's good? Hey. Some drama that appears to involve Demi Lovato. And let's not forget when she made Zendaya's moment all about her. Because once again, she could not tolerate that the spotlight was in someone else. And the beef with Remy Ma. The beef with Remy Ma changed a lot of perspective when it came to Nikki's image. A lot of the things that Remy claimed made sense to people. It seemed like Nikki was indeed a mean girl that couldn't stand to have other female rappers around her. Because even though Iggy Azalea denied it, there were also rumors that Nikki and her were not on good terms. Like Remy Ma mentioned a couple of times, Nikki tried to do things to stop her from being another female rapper in the room. Remy said that Nikki tried to stop her from getting the bag and it was also said that in a red carpet event, she even tried to have Remy removed from walking, she instead wanted Remy to get inside by using the back door. That way she would not be stealing the spotlight. And this mean girl persona coincides with what happened between her and Cardi B. After the release of Bodak Yellow, Cardi was everywhere. She was making headlines and was the new star. Cardi was funny, she had a nice personality that most people loved, especially the media. She started to release music non-stop, it felt like everyone wanted a collab with Cardi. But just like in the past, two female rappers were put against each other. So much negativity came from fans but some tweets were a little suspicious. So maybe Nicki was not too happy that another female was having so much success. Then the song Swish, Swish, with Katy Perry came out. This seems to be a diss track toward Taylor Swift and Remy Ma, but in this song Nicki mentions Offset. Cardi B and Offset were dating already during this time. Then the song No Flag came out, which also featured Offset. But Nicki's verse feels like there is shade towards Cardi B and Remy Ma. Cardi was focused on her career and never responded to anything, even the allegations made by fans. Cardi was having the best time in her career. Then, Motorsport came out and it seemed like there was peace between the rappers. But it was not like that. There are rumors that Nicki was mad because there was no acknowledgement of her in Cardi's verse. There was also a lot of news claiming that Cardi was not happy with Nicki's verse so she requested a change because Nicki's verse felt like it was a little shady towards Cardi. And other rumors are that Nicki's called Card the B-word but it was in a friendly way. I can understand if Cardi was not a fan of this. Then more drama came out after everyone started to talk about their beef and Nicki did a couple of interviews claiming that Cardi and the Migos didn't have her back. With Motorsport, I kind of felt ambushed, you know, I felt like Quavo at that time was, like Quavo is my baby, I love Quavo. And um, at the time I told, I went on Twitter and I explained how Motorsport came about. And you know, people were saying that I was lying. So I texted, um. Quavo and I said, hey, just, you know, could you back me up on this? Because, you know, I don't want people to think I'm lying. What do I have to lie about? And um, he didn't back me up. And, you know, he texted me. He was he was like, I would I would go on Twitter and back you up if you were my girl. LOL. And that hurt because he's somebody like I love him, you know. And when it was time to clear the air about that, no one did that. 
you know, everybody, all of them allowed me to look like I lied and and you still did interviews and, and y'all all still jumped around that and just to paint Nikki as the bad person so that you could play the victim. And um, that really, really hurt me because I really fully supported her. And um, up until this recent interview that she did, I had never seen her show me genuine love in an interview. And I could just imagine how many girls wish they could have been on a song with Nicki Minaj. And I mean, I'm not saying it in a cocky way, but like, um, yikes. But all the drama stopped when the pair were seen at the Met Gala together. It felt like a power duo that was having a good time. And that whatever happened in the past was in the past. So imagine how surprised we were when a fight went down at the New York Fashion Week and it was between Cardi B and Nicki. But when these two beauties crossed paths, watch out, an ugly melee ensued. One report says Nikki deliberately stepped on Cardi's train and then said something nasty about Cardi's baby daughter. New footage of the fight is surfacing. You can see Cardi stumbling across the hallway, held back by her security team. Suddenly, she lunges for Nikki, who is shielded by her security team. Moments later, there's Cardi undoing her shoe, then throwing it at Nikki. Nikki's team kept the shoe as Exhibit A. Cardi's gown was ripped in the back, exposing her backside. Her bodyguards quickly covered her with what's left of the gown. Oh, no. Cardi left the party with a nasty bump above her. It all went down because apparently, Nikki was liking tweets about Cardi being a bad mother. Regardless of what the real issue was or what was happening between these two, that was not public knowledge. The situation broke the internet and made Cardi look bad. Fans were throwing shade at Nikki, but the fact that Cardi reacted that way in a place like a party during the New York Fashion Week made her look out of place. Some people were questioning if Cardi was ready for fame. But the real drama here was that Nikki was on the internet being petty and for some people that might seem cool, but in reality, is not. Just because she did not start the physical altercation does not mean that she was on the right. Nikki went on her Queen radio show and talked more about the situation, the entire internet was keeping up with their drama. Cardi went on Instagram to defend herself and went on rants until they both decided to keep the peace. Nikki is that person who will go online, go on Twitter and annoy people. She will talk and create drama, but when shit hits the fan, she acts like the victim. Nothing is her fault and everything happens to her because of other people. Like when she went on Twitter complaining that Kylie Jenner and Stormy were the reason why Travis Scott's album was more successful than hers. Maybe a six-month-old baby is not the reason why her album sales were not the best, maybe the album was not her best work. And it is okay to have a flop album, I think that every artist has one regardless of who they are and their genre. Then after some time, Nikki was featured on Megan Thee Stallion's Hot Girl Summer and it all looked like it was good between the two of them. There are rumors that Megan didn't show up for Nicki Minaj's radio show and after that, some other rumors of an apparent beef started to grow. Then Megan released a song with Cardi B, the pair released WAP, and the song was at the top, it was very successful. Megan and Cardi were going live and having a good time. Then Nicki Minaj unfollowed Megan on Instagram. This came as no surprise for some fans due to the success that WAP had. Some claimed that Nikki was bitter, because Megan said before all of this, that she liked both Cardi and Nikki. Apparently, Nikki took social media, once again, to throw some shade at Meg, but it felt like there were just rumors. It feels like Nikki gets mad at any female rapper who does not worship the ground that she walks. She wants to be credited for whatever happens to female rappers. She wants to be the queen, but she is damaging her legacy with how she is acting. How you are the victim, but have beef with almost every new female rapper. Because she also had issues with Lado, and it was all over the internet. It all happened because Nicki's song Super Freaky Girl was not being considered for hip-hop categories at the Grammys that year. Instead, it was up for the best pop solo performance category. Nikki went on Twitter to express her frustration and brought Lado into the situation without apparent cause. Nikki said that if Super Freaky Girl was not being recognized in the hip-hop category then Lado's song Big Energy shouldn't be recognized either. Saying that both tracks were produced by Dr. Luke and that it was unfair. 
Nikki claimed that anyone disagreeing with this perspective was either a, a Nikki hater or a troll. Both rappers went back and forth on Twitter, and it all ended with a phone call between the two of them. Something that is cl clearly delusional. It's delusional to say that other girls are flourishing. It's something that's stupid and misinformed. It's, I'm the one acting crazy. It's, it's, it's delusional to say, say that other girls are flourishing. Recognize, to recognize we weren't giving the platforms that we're being given right now. And I literally, I give you props all the time in every other interview for opening the door for that to be a possibility now. Oh, okay. So, what, in conclusion, what do you think um, you want to say about, let's let you finish your statement about what, you know, rappers were doing before and what they're doing now. Let, let, I want, I want you to finish it. I finished it, Nikki. Okay. Right, I said at, at right, for a long time it was you. It was me. Yes. So, so, and and so, your so your you didn't do your research. <sighs> what if so, it, so, so so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have somebody send you send you the information about all the women in the in the last ten years who have had um, billboard recognition, mm -hmm. worldwide global mm -hmm. recognition, mm -hmm. since you are clearly putting yourself above these people. No, I'm not. That's like, that's the purpose misinter... Uh, I can't even think of the word. Like, just purposely trying not to understand what I'm saying. You don't even understand what you're saying because see, no, I know exactly what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, it was you running shit for a long time. I never said that you're no longer running shit. I said for a long time. I never said that you're no longer running shit. I said that there are other females flourishing. What is the problem with that? The hard way. You're going to learn the real world and the well. I love you, and I will, regardless. You know what I'm saying. I'm gonna support you from the sidelines. I feel okay. very, yes, from the sidelines okay. because I can't do it publicly when someone is literally subtweeting me for no reason, purposely okay. trying to misinterpret what I'm saying. I, I respect you too much to go back and forth with you. So okay. I, I appreciate you for getting on the phone with me. The song lyric was recorded last year, way before any of I'm this. And I cannot, cause, yeah, you said, because you just... You just but said I like to say it's giving bar, though. The, it's so giving bar was nothing. It didn't have nothing to do and, with you. And, that, and it's not going to benefit you. You understand? If people around you cared about you, they would have told you that's not going to benefit you. What's not going to benefit me? Let me go. I have to do a zoom. I'll, I'll hit you back. Thanks. Nikki also claimed that she also recorded the call, but she never shared anything. Hashtag 40 year old bully became a trending topic on Twitter as people weighed in on Lato vs Nicki Minaj. During this, all the past issues came back. People were talking about how in the past Nicki has always been problematic. Others wanted to talk about why she thinks that going against her is not going to benefit her, claiming that Nicki is bitter at others' success. A person like Nicki shouldn't be arguing with other rappers about success. But then it all went down again. When Megan Thee Stallion released her diss track Hiss. That got the Barb's and Nikki fighting for their lives. The line in the song Megan dissed a few people, but people knew who she was talking about when she said. These hoes don't be mad at Megan, these hoes be mad at Megan's law. Nikki's response was big foot. The diss track was bad. She raps about Megan's foot in relation to her 2020 incident with Tori Lanez. She talks about Megan's deceased mother. And more things but it was bad. Nikki has been fighting for her life on Instagram Live. Her fans are delusional. Nah, no, your dead mama. Lie on 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 your dead. On your dead. On your dead mama. On your dead. On your dead. On your dead mama. She said she lied on her dead mama. On her dead mama. Lied on her dead mama. Lied on her dead mama. Now she wanna go on Gail King and lie. A lie, 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 lie. You a lie. You nasty little lie. Your bitch always lie. You beat your fuck your friend, bitch. You wild. 
Bullet fragment foot, bitch. Bullet fragment, bullet fragment, bitch. She a bullet fragment, bullet fragment, bitch. Now listen here, ho. Get up on your good foot. Bitch, I said get up on your good foot, not your bad foot. Fuck was that, a diss or a piss? Said it was his, I said piss. That my fans called it piss. Yo nigga, bitch, said all that shit about you, ho. Yo ex nigga that just was around you all that. Y'all mad because y'all don't have somebody that loves you and stand ten toes down behind you. So you bringing up 30-year-old teeth from when this child, when this man was a 15-year-old person, child. You bringing up 30-year-old teeth because no man has ever and will ever fucking love you. And lying on your dead mother, on your dead mama, lie on your dead, you know, lie on a dead mama, lie on a dead mama, lie on a dead mama, lie on your, I said, lie on a, a sexy red, she done lied, she lied and she cried and she lied and she cried, she said she lied and she cried and she lied and she cried and then she lied and she cried and she lied and she cried, cause she got blogs all up up her stupid doofy self ass, every press, I said no well, I don't give up, vote for the rip up the duck dude. And then she tried to rap double time, lied on your dead mama, lied on your... She even liked a tweet that claimed that what Nikki was saying was true, that it was all a plan from the industry to ignore her. Apparently, she agrees that the release of the trailer of the movie Despicable Me 4, coinciding with the release of Bigfoot, is all a plan. All of this is sad to see because Nikki is one of the most established rappers in the industry, but it feels like after her 2018 Queen era, the drama has been following her. She got backlash for collaborating with 6 9 after all of his legal issues, her radio show was messy, her album drama, the fight with Cardi. And then her marriage to Kenneth Petty. Who is the reason why Meghan raps about Meghan's law? Nikki secretly married her childhood sweetheart Kenneth Petty, who was convicted in 1995 of committing the R-word. This situation with her husband has been ugly, especially after the couple was accused of harassment. Honestly, it is just a big ugly problem. So let's see what else comes out, because at this point we are still in the middle of this. But that's it for today. Thank you so much guys for staying with me. See you on the next one.